Yo, what's today. going on guys? Cryptic TNG back with a brand new video. Today we're doing an, another race around Sebring in the Corvette, which is my preferred car around Sebring. Also guys, the other day I did a video about the GT3s coming out on LMU and I totally forgot that there's going to be two free GT3s. So we will be getting the nine GT3s, not the seven, which is why I took the video down. So thank you for everyone who reminded me. My bad, bro. I my bad. I anyway, guys, tell me what GT3s you'll be looking forward to driving first once they come out on the next update, which should be sometime in December. Um, let's get stuck into the video. So I'm starting fourth and it's gonna be tricky, quite a hard track to overtake. I do feel like the Corvette though, does have the best tire wear around this track. Um, there's no Porsches in the top four. So it's literally two Corvettes versus two Ferraris and um, should be interesting. The guy in the lead tends to be a bit faster than everybody else i didn't do a great quality lap but still i don't think i would be able to match his pace but that being said i do kind of expect him to disappear down the road so let's see how this race starts we're about to go green i thought i was going to get a penalty because it said i was slightly out of line and this game can be extremely strict when it comes to penalties but managed to get a decent start the ferrari's pretty quick off the line we managed to get a good start into turn one we try and keep it nice neat and tidy and the guy in third or fourth even it's an absolutely insane start and he goes from i think you know he did start third i was fourth he started third straight into the lead and um Bergovic ends up dropping from the lead down to third so this is a better start for us because he is the quick guy in the lobby and let's see if we can keep up with his pace So we're a couple laps in now, starting to fall off the pace just a little bit, um, but the cars in front are still sort of being held up by the Ferrari, so it's not too bad. If I think if Bergovic was in the lead, then definitely I would say it'd be a lot harder to keep up with the pace, but because he's sort of held back by the Ferraris, I'm half expecting the Ferrari's tire wear to fall off of a cliff towards the end, and then that's going to help us be in the race for the victory at the moment. You can see even behind me, the Corvette behind me is still pretty close, but as long as I don't make any mistakes, I should be able to stay with these guys in front. The guys actually in the Ferrari running a pretty decent pace, man, because I've I've used the Ferrari around here before, and it for me it kind of fell off, you know, before the end of the race. I started doing like much slower lap time, so let's see. But um, as of now, I, I was a little bit, you know, I wasn't that happy with how the car was handling. It felt a little bit understeering. For me, every time I jump on ACC and then jump back onto Le Mans it's almost like I've got to like relearn certain things and just the way how the front end feels but I did use this car a few weeks back and it just felt so much better 
um, before than it does now. But I'm not going to lie, I think I have changed my force feedback settings a, a few times. So sometimes that can sort of alter the way that you feel. But um, hopefully, you know, we can still have a good race. Coming into turn two now, and we just get a little bit late on the brakes. The back end steps out. I have to correct it and catch it. We almost hit the wall, but bad mistake. End up losing a lot of time to the leaders, and it's going to be pretty hard to catch them back up because our pace is so similar. So I'm kind of literally relying on them guys battling to, to manage to catch them back up because now we've put ourselves in a battle as well with the cars behind. And if you know anything about this game, man, the moment you start battling, you literally lose seconds making another mistake again missed the hairpin and now i'm thinking i generally don't think i'm going to be able to catch these guys in front because this race is a tad bit shorter because it is like a rookie race so only 10 minutes left the race is not as long i think it's only a is it a 15 or 18 minute race or something like that but normally we have like 25 minute races so it gives you a little bit of time to make the difference up there's not a lot of time to make that difference up so even if the, the guys in the Ferrari ahead, even if their tyres do fall off, it won't be to the degree that it would be normally if you're doing a 25 minute race, because these races are a little bit short. So we're about two and a half, 2.7 seconds behind the guys in front, coming under a little bit of pressure from the guys behind now. So we sort of have to do that, sort of lock it in, make sure no more mistakes, because we know it's extremely easy to make mistakes in this game you kind of have to concentrate and even sometimes when you do concentrate you can just get a little bit of a snap a little lock up and before you know it you know you're facing the wrong way but the guys in front they're pretty close now all battling Bergovic is still um i'm saying Bergovic. Bergovic is still in third place but he's really close to the guys behind and i think the guy in the fryer makes a mistake and Bergovic gets in front of stefano and now he's making moves you see these guys weaving all over the place and let's see if he's able to get into the lead. If he does, I think it's, it's GG's, bro. It's game over. And battling up in front, I think they're side by side. But the Ferrari just manages to hold the position in front. And now I'm like, I have to close the gap while these guys are battling. I literally have to close them down. You can see just that battling they had up ahead. They literally lost a whole second just by the, that battle they had. And now we're able to sort of gain a lot more. Better first sector for me this time around. And... Um, need to stay focused need to stay in the game try and get back into the slipstream and see if we can sort of manage to close these guys down it won't be easy but of course if you stay consistent you've always got a chance On two lap five, we start to bring the gap down quite a bit. Begovic is literally right behind the leader at the moment. We're closing down on the Ferrari ahead. And this is the time where I believe the Corvette is definitely the stronger. Um, pretty much in the second half of the race now, the front end tends to turn in through the first six. It's so much better. You can see the Ferrari struggling to get that turn in. Begovic all over the leader. So he's probably going through the same sort of phase that I'm going through at the moment. Um, and we're trying to close down i believe the leaders are almost side by side now going into the hairpin and this is like important parts of the race the ferrari locks up 
and Begovic is into the lead. Now we're going to see what type of pace Begovic has and whether we can sort of close down these two Ferraris, try and at least get to second place because I probably think Begovic is going to get away now. Um, De Silva and Stefano in front, maybe their pace will drop off a little bit as what I thought would happen at the start of the race and we've managed to close right in now. There's a gap behind us so we don't have to worry about any of the guys behind. Now we have to just focus on trying to get these moves done. Of course, it's extremely difficult on LMU to make overtaking maneuvers, particularly on this track. You sort of have to really set up, set up for the exit, try and make people make a mistake. Also, again, as you saw before, it's very easy to make mistakes, very easy to lock your tires up, particularly when you're battling as well. So that is one of the great things about LMU, man. It's really down to mistakes a lot of the time. If you're very good at defending your line, it can be almost impossible to get past somebody. So let's see how we managed to do um great race so far four guys pretty much within you know temps of each other i do feel like begovic will get off now and through the last corner i keep it in third try and take a sort of wide line in the entry tighten up on the exit to see if i can get a run can we get into the slipstream the throw is always a little quicker but he's actually tapping the brakes and wasn't sure what he was trying to do where we were trying to put us off but Listen, I do feel like we had the pace over him, but it's going to be pretty difficult to get past. But he runs wide on the exit and lets us through. And now we're up into third position. And we're going to try and close down on the silver. Um, made a small mistake there, a little bit wide, but I know through the first sector, definitely the Corvette has the advantage over the Ferrari. Of course, the Ferrari is a little bit quicker down the straight, but if we can just stay close through the last corner hopefully we can stay close enough to the silver to get the run only about five minutes to go so it's going to be pretty tricky but you can already see like we're, we're definitely closing in um and the car felt pretty decent at this stage man i wasn't really struggling with tires or anything like that the car felt nice but it's just you know in the bits where we need to be fast that's where we need to make sure we're as close as possible but as i've stated before in this game sometimes when you're right behind someone and you break late into the corners it's almost like like a vacuum that sucks you into the back of their car and you can end up taking people out or locking up so i had to be pretty careful man because it's actually happened to me before on this track where you sort of break behind someone and it just pulls you in and then you end up just completely wiping them out so just trying to be really careful but trying to stay as close as possible you do get a little bit of understeer as well when you're really close to somebody so sometimes you just break a little bit early and just sort of you know kind of try and turn in early. You can see the understeer there as I went to turn in, it just wasn't happening. And again, through this corner, pretty difficult. So I was trying to cut as much as I could to try and get the run. And as you can see, the Ferrari is a little quicker down the straight, not really that much we can do, but I'm gonna try and stay as close as possible into the last corner, break pretty late and keep trying to use the wide line that I was using. You can see he uses a much tighter line. We come in wide and you can, you can, it is a little bit hard to see the wall on the inside man if you judge it wrong you can actually hit the wall on the inside and believe me if you hit that wall it is over it's a wrap trust me um but we're still going still trying to keep to the back of this guy he actually gets a pretty good run through turn one and i end up having to go down to third gear because of the understeer normally i would take it in fourth but having to go down to third to pretty much try and get the run on him again the front end of the corvette turns in we still got Stefano behind us as well but you can see the front end just just grips up way more than it does for the Ferrari and try and get the run but again he, did, he got a decent run that time and he's pretty fast down the straight so you know it's not like ACC where now we can just send the dive bomb down the inside you try and send the dive bomb most of the time you won't even get the car stopped so you know you have to really really make sure when you're going to make a move that literally everything is in, in, per, in perfect condition because it's too easy to make a mistake. As for the leader, Begovic, he's got off only sort of two, two or three minutes left to go. So there's no chance we're going to be winning as the silver has a little lockup that gives us a chance. But through this section of the track, there is only really one line. So couldn't really jump and make an overtaking move anywhere here. Again, we're just trying to get the run through the corners, trying to focus on the exit. But, you know, understeer also is kind of making things a lot more difficult. So. We're going to keep on plugging away, see if we can get as close to him as possible.
So on to the last lap and this is going to be the our last chance to get anything done. Begovic is absolutely bolted and we're sort of trying to find any way we can to get past. You can see we get a much better run through turn one, keep it in fourth gear. The Ferrari struggling to get the nose in again through here. He turns in quite early actually, hits the curb. Not the best run. I was thinking should I send it down the inside, but he takes a slightly shallower line. And let's see if we can get the run into the hairpin. Again, the Ferrari straight line speed kind of comes up trumps here because I couldn't really get that much closer. And you can just see he pulls that small gap. I tried to like, you know, put him off a little bit. He does break towards the apex slightly. Let's see if we can focus on the exit and try and get as close as possible. Completely run over the grass there. Didn't help us. We lost the momentum. And at this point, pretty much thought that the race was pretty much done. Not really that many more overtaking opportunities, probably barring the last corner or let's see if he makes a mistake. But again, he's probably breaking a little bit early because he's starting to get a little bit of tire wear. And normally you have to sort of, you know, just, just break a tad bit earlier just to avoid locking the tires but again we try and focus on the exit but we still can't really do anything man and this section of the track is pretty tight but i want to stay as close as possible see if i can get the run onto the back straight and into the last corner i broke really early here tried to turn across and take a lot of curb we did that but he also gets a decent run as well we definitely use more track than he does we actually get a small track limit penalty but it wasn't too bad our run was decent, but again, now you're going to see the Ferrari straight line speed. And it just, even in the slipstream, there's not really much I can do, man. But I'm going to try and break pretty deep, try and take another wide line, see if we can cut back underneath. He breaks very, very early, takes a tight line, extremely tight. We cut back, but he sort of held it tight against the corner, keeps the position, go across the line there, seriously close, only two temps off, but wasn't really much more we can do than that. Managed to get a podium from fourth on the grid. And I think I had the pace over the race to maybe get in front. But, you know, if they don't make mistakes, it's literally impossible to get in front. Nevertheless, it was a good race, man. Um, yeah, Begovic was probably a little bit too fast for us. But Long battling the other guys, man, definitely a, a good battle. And hopefully next time out, we can sort of get a win here. We, we need to fix our qualifying, man, because our qualifying was pretty poor. It was about four tenths up on our lap. We probably would have started maybe second if we'd have got our lap in. So that was the disappointing thing about Polly. But next time out, let's see if we can do a better race. Cryptic TNG, like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to catch my videos first. And peace.